Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to test out this brand new rat trapping system that allows you to catch more rats than you normally would with the standard snap trap. Now this style of trap has been around a long time. It was first invented by William Hooker back in 1894, and since then it's been the go-to for killing rats. But it does have quite a few weaknesses. I've often heard from viewers that they check these traps, the bait is gone, but they didn't set off and catch a rat. Also, sometimes the rat trap is completely gone, it's been carried away, it flips over, or the rat enters from the back, sets it off, goes flying, or is maimed but not killed. That's quite a few problems for a simple trap that have all been solved with these upgrades. Now these new and improved traps were invented by friends of mine who have a YouTube channel called the Twin Home Experts. They are professional exterminators who have dealt with huge rat infestations in people's houses, and they've seen it all, including the many different ways that this style of trap can fail and they came up with a solution for pretty much every problem, starting with the bait tugger. So here's how to deal with rats that have learned how to steal the bait by licking it off the trigger. You place the bait inside the tugger, put it on this clip, and push it down. Now it's secure, and as soon as the rat tries to get the bait, it's much wider and it will set off the trap more often. And next, we'll deal with the huge problem of a rat setting off the trap at the wrong angle. I've seen rats enter a trap from the back or side and only catch a leg, part of its body, its tail. The rat suffers, it doesn't die instantly, and it will drag off your trap. We don't want that happening, and that's what the hoodie does. It solves all those problems. Here is an opening for the rat to enter with teeth down below to grab it. If you look on the back here, there's a slot that fits perfectly on the base. When you pull up the kill bar, you can insert the hoodie and it still closes. That way the rat has to enter from the front and when it does, it will get caught perfectly on the head or neck. It solves so many problems. And you'll notice there's two holes on here. Those are screw holes for mounting the trap so it can't steal it. You can place it on the ground and secure it here, or you can place it on the side of a wall. That way, a rat going down the wall might not go inside when it's on the floor, but they might reach up and try to get the bait. You can also mount it vertically. So this system is much better than just a standard snap trap on the ground, but they've also included a base. Here's the whole trapping system. I'll put it together in this plastic here. There's a place with threads to attach it. So we'll line up the trap and screw it in. There, now that it's very secure, and we have our base here, this has holes as well so you can mount it to the wall or the side. They've also included a back piece. This is a camera mount. I'll put that on as well. And there you have it, the Twin Home Expert Rat Trapping System. Not only do you have a bait tugger and a hoodie, you also have a place to mount that camera and watch what's going on. To set it, you make sure there's plenty of bait inside that tugger. Pull back the kill bar. And then place the arm on the back of the trigger. It's now ready to go. Any rat that comes along will smell the bait. It may try to get it from the back or side, but it has to line up perfectly with that trigger. And when it does, as you can see, that's a dead rat, right on the head or neck. Now I can't wait to show you just how well this trap system works with wild rats in the barn. We're gonna set up the motion cameras and see how the rats interact, see if they stick their head in there, pull on that bait tugger, and set off the trap. But I can't show a rat getting killed on YouTube. Recently, YouTube even took down one of my videos and gave me a warning strike for showing a toy rat like this setting off a trap. So here's what I came up with to show you how this trap system works with wild rats without getting canceled on YouTube. Basically, I place two screws right in the path of the kill bar. That way, when a rat goes in there and goes on the tugger, it will set off the trap, this will go, but it won't break its neck. But we know what would happen if these weren't there. It would be a dead rat. We'll go ahead and set it. It's very easy to set. And now it's ready to go. We can mount this flat or set it up on its side, but the rat will come in there, smell the bait, try to get it, and when it does, whew, that's always a little unnerving. Now what we're gonna try to catch are pack rats. They're a native species and they're pretty easy to catch. If I did brown rats, once they set this off, they would never go for it again. And I wanna catch them with a kill trap. So instead we'll use the pack rats. We'll do a catch and release just to show how effective this trap works. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens.
Well, after reviewing the motion camera footage, it's very clear that this trapping system made by the Twin Home Experts greatly improves the effectiveness of the standard snap trap. So if you want to get this, I'll put a link down below to their website. They're not a paid sponsor, but they are friends of mine, and I want to congratulate them on making such a great rat trap that solves many of the problems with the standard snap trap. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a mouse problem, please consider clicking the link in the description and purchasing one of the mouse traps I invented. It's called the Dizzy Dunker Mouse Trap, and I consider it to be the greatest mouse trap ever made.